Hess's Law. Using the following data, calculate the value of standard delta H of the reaction for the combustion of one mole of C4H10. According to Hess's Law, the sum of the enthalpy variations for each of the intermediate reactions will be equal to the total enthalpy of the reaction. Our bank of intermediate reactions will be placed at the top and the addition will be prepared at the bottom. To complete the total reaction, we have to make sure we have all the right reactants and products in the right places, and also that all the extra compounds of the intermediate reactions cancel out. The first thing we need is a C4H10 as a reactant. Looking at our intermediate reactions, we see that C4H10 is found in the first reaction, but as a product. If we invert the reaction, we get it as a reactant instead. We also have to invert the sign on the enthalpy value. Next in the equation we have oxygen. However, since we can find O2 in more than one of our intermediate reactions, we will save it until later. Next, we need four CO2s in the products. The second intermediate reaction has a CO2 in the products, but we have to multiply it by four since there are four of them in our final equation. To obtain five water molecules, we will use the third equation and multiply it by five. Don't forget to not only multiply the molecules, but also the enthalpy value. Now we're left with our oxygens. When we add the four oxygens from the first line with the five halves oxygens in the third line, we see that we get 13 over two molecules in total. That's perfect because that's exactly what we need in our final equation. We need to make sure that the rest of the intermediate products cancel out because they should not be found in our final equation. The four carbons produced in the first line are consumed in the second reaction. Also, the five H2 molecules created in the first reaction are consumed in the third reaction, so everything is good. All that's left to do is add the enthalpy variations for each intermediate reaction. The heat of reaction of C4H10 is negative 2,657.4 kilojoules.